everyone. Welcome back. It's a new year. So today I'm going to be talking about some of the reasons I got off of Facebook with family and friends. Um, Facebook, don't get me wrong, Facebook is a good tool for business. Um, like if you have a business page and you try to promote a business, um, but as far as having being on there with friends and family, I got off of there. Um, one of the reasons why is because it's too much jealousy and competition on there. It's just too much. Um, and they're competing with you for attention. You're not even on there for that, uh, but you just, you know, basically on social media, because social media is the thing now, um, you just gotta choose which platform is good for you um but it's just too much jealousy and competition on facebook um if you post i notice if i post like if you post something bad or negative uh you'll get a lot of likes and a lot of hearts but if you post something positive and you're trying to be positive you post something good you know you won't ha you won't hardly get no likes or no hearts um you know, you could be trying to start a nonprofit or a profit or whatever a business, but you ain't gonna hardly get no hearts because people thrive off negativity, you know, and they don't, they're not gonna, they're not going to, the people that thrive off of negativity, they're not gonna wanna see you do good, you know. So if you, you, you know, you post something positive or something, you know, that brings awareness to a certain cause, like, you know, domestic violence or AIDS or whatever the cause is, you ain't gonna hardly get no likes or no shares. Um, when I was on Facebook posting around friends and family, um, I did an event one year. Um, I was trying to help single women with kids. Um, and I did help some of them. Uh, but when I was out there, um, posted on Facebook and, you know, of course I had to post it because, you know, then people wouldn't know where to come and get their, uh, baskets. I was giving away, um, baskets, uh, filled with, uh, pampers, clothes, different things, baby items that single mother with children would need. And, um, basically, uh, some of my friends from Facebook that I've been knowing, I'm talking about, I've been knowing these people for 15, 20 years. I mean, I've been knowing these people for years and, you know, they, they asked me instead of supporting, they asked me, well, um, how'd you start this? And how'd you get money to do this? And, um, how'd you start this ministry? How do you do this? You know, um, asking me about the money and how'd you do this? How you do that? You know, and it really, you know, it's really not their business, you know. Um, but, you know, people, they, you know, people that I've been knowing for 15, 20 years asking me this. Um, anybody can get out there and start a ministry, a business, a, a nonprofit, a for profit, whatever your heart desire. Anybody, any race can get up and start whatever that they want to start and get up and do whatever they want to do if it's in your heart to do it. And anybody can get up and help people, uh, whatever cause you believe in, if, if it's in your heart to help somebody, anybody can do it, anybody. Male, female, you know, uh, any race, anybody can do it, you know? And one of the women um, who was asking me about this, you know, how you get, how you do this, how you, uh, what made you want to do this and how you get money to do this, blah, blah, blah. She was one of the main ones who go to church, um, you know, and always talking about God and stuff like that. And them be the main ones like that, <laughs> they'd be jealous uh, most of the time. Not all of them, you know, not, not, not all of them. I'm not going to put, you know, I'm not going to say everybody, but most of them be the main ones that you have to watch and be aware of and stay away from uh, the main ones um, that's always talking about God and always quoting scriptures. And then once you step out and do something, they got something to say, you know, instead of them supporting, instead of them helping people themselves, they got something negative to say. 
So, um, you know, what happened was she, you know, just was negative about it and whatever, you know. Um, and I just kind of like, I, I didn't really pay her no attention. Um, I went out there and did what was in my heart to do. And uh, people, you know, was able to get blessed, um, you know, with, with some baskets filled with, with different things. Um, the woman that was like, um, the woman that was basically, um, you know, asking me how this and that, and she wasn't the only one, it was different, one, different one of them that I know for 15, 20 years, whatever the case may be. Um, instead of her encouraging me, you know, um, she was jealous. It was that jealousy kicked in, you know, and sometimes people think that because they broke, you broke, or because they don't have enough confidence. They don't have enough confidence to get out there and do nothing or to get out there and do something, uh, that nobody else has that confidence or self self esteem to do to get out there and do something. They think everybody is like them, you know, um, you know, and then they think, you know, well, that I don't have the confidence to do this, so you you're not supposed to have the confidence to do this, you know. Uh, they think, oh, well, I'm I don't have money to do this or that. They think that you're not supposed to have money to do this, but see, the world don't work like that. The world, the world does not work like that. Just because you ain't got it don't mean somebody else don't have it. You know, just because you you don't have the confidence to get up there and, and, and help somebody or get up there to start that business or that nonprofit or that for-profit. Just because you don't have enough confidence to do that don't mean the next person don't have the confidence to do it. And people need to stop comparing their lives with other people. That's where they're messing up at. Okay? Um... Another thing about Facebook, um, another reason why I got off, like if you post something that a friend or family member don't like and you're surrounded by them, you got, you're got you on there with friends and family, then they may want you to take it down or they'll get mad or some petty, you know. Um, it's, just, it's just not a good idea. And then they're trying to, if they tell you to take it down, I want you to take it down, they're controlling your page, you know. Um, if you have a page on social media, don't matter if it's Facebook, TikTok, whatever it is, you are the administrator of that page, you know, unless you share a page with other people, but you can post what you want to post. But see, if you post something that they don't like, you know what I'm saying? And especially if you out there, you try, if you trying to fight a cause, like I was, um, trying to fight a cause and they trying to fight you, you know, it's, it's time to move on. It's time to let them go, you know, because they get, they, they too jealous and they, they trying to control what you put up there. See, see what I'm saying? You're around them, you surrounded by them. And you don't even, I didn't even know that, you know, they was like that until I became friends with them on Facebook and everything. And you think you could be friends with your family members and friends with people you've been knowing for 15, 20 years ago on Facebook and social media, but it's just not a good idea. Um, it's cool to have followers, but I wouldn't um, have friends on there. Then um, some of the people I realized, um, some of the people that I was around on Facebook um, that was, you know, friends, they was hindering me from my blessings. They were stopping my blessings. I didn't even know. I, I hadn't, I didn't even know until I let them go. Um, this was like last year um, before I got my new car. Um, I was having trouble with my my old car um, and I was looking for a new car. Every dealership turned me down, every dealership. They didn't approve me and my credit is not like bad, bad, but you know, my, my credit is not that bad. And I'm like, man, what is going on? Every, every dealership I go to, they turn me down. I didn't get an approval. Then, I, and, and I had, picked up in my spirit that I was I was around the wrong people on Facebook. I was around some of the wrong people. Then once I let those people go, some of them was uh, family members. They were, some of them was friends, some of them was family members. Um, this is before I let Facebook go, period. 
like all the way. I, I unfriended a lot of people. Then once I unfriended uh, several people, uh, then that's when God blessed me with my car. You know, they were holding my blessings up. Why? Because they were secretly jealous of me. Jealousy will hinder your blessings from God. It will. It will. It don't matter if it's friends, family members, whoever. It, people are, If you got people around you that are secretly uh, jealous of you, um, they praying for your downfall, they praying that you don't make it, praying that bad things happen, stuff like that. Those are the wrong type of people to be around. And they will block your blessings. They will block your blessings. I'm a living witness. They will block your blessings. Um, jealousy hinders your blessings. It was spiritual. I, could, I can't really go into depth on it, and I can't really explain it, but it was, it was spiritual, and it was demonic. And sometimes, like, you you know how you be like, well, I want to be on, you know, Facebook with my friends or friends from high school, friends from fifth, sixth grade. I want to be on Facebook with, you know, family members, you know, just to um, have be around them. And, you know, because you've been knowing them for years, you know, but sometimes it's not a good idea because those are the main ones. A lot of them, I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of times, a lot of them are the main ones, them the main ones that's jealous of you but listen to this y'all um god <laughs> i was able to get a car once i let those people go and i unfriended those people from facebook um i got them off my facebook page that's when god blessed me with my car um I, god blessed me with with my car i got an approval and i got blessed with a car and it was just it was so it was strange, but then again, I'm like, man, this is spiritual because I was around the wrong people and you can be around the wrong people and not even know it. See, people don't want to see you succeed. And I'm also say this, none of them knew that I was looking for a new car. None of them knew that, you know, none of them knew I was looking for a new car. None of them knew none of that. None of them knew none of that. I mean, cause I didn't post it. I didn't post anything like that. So, um, and then when I got my car, I didn't post it. You know what I'm saying? God really blessed me with a nice car. I didn't post it. Um, you know, you have to be careful with that. Um, being around friends and family on Facebook, posting stuff when God bless you and stuff. You can't, you you, you just can't, because people are too jealous, you know? Um, and then uh, when you're around people, and you feel like doors are not opening for you and you feel like I should have I should have been had this or been did this or been had this job I should have been got a, a breakthrough I should have been had that car should have been had check who you s surrounded by on social media and on on Facebook cuz a lot of people a lot of people uh, a lot of people are jealous of you. They secretly jealous of you. You don't even know it. And the people, and it be the main ones who you didn't grew up with and, and been and known for 20 years. I mean, don't get me wrong. People that don't know you can be jealous of you too. But a lot of times it's the people that really know you. How she get this, how she get that, how she, you know, like they was at, how, you, how she start this ministry, how she start um how you get the money to do this how you get to this and it really don't uh you know uh take a lot of money if you want to um if you want to help somebody and then you get get support from the from the community you have to have a heart all you have to do you have to have a heart to help people you know and you can ask for 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 help from the community to help whatever project that you're doing i mean these people you know they want to sit around all day and and not really do anything then they, then and then they want to ask you how you doing this how you doing that you know but i just i wanted to put that out there because um you know a lot of people are not aware that it's a lot of jealousy um on facebook now if i was to get back on facebook i wouldn't do the friends and family thing i just have a business page you know um, and a lot of people are not aware of some of the people that you around, you know, they, they, they're hindering your blessings. They're hindering you from succeeding. They're hitting, they're hindering you from getting ahead in life.
and you don't even know it because you think this is your friend you didn't grow up with from high school or from you know fifth or sixth grade or you, you, you know people you've been knowing for, for, uh, in, in, you know in church and stuff like that and you don't you don't even you don't even know that they secretly jealous of you but once you let them go if you having a hard time around them and got you don't and God not open the doors and 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 you pushing you trying to you 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 pushing your way through i mean you really trying to you you know get this job you really trying to get this car you really trying to get this house you try to get this and then you ain't getting nothing you know what i'm saying you got to check out who's who you surrounded by then if you let them go, then all of a sudden you get blessed. Come on, you around the wrong people. You around the wrong people. And I had to learn that. I had to learn that. You know, and one of, one of the mistakes I was making is, you know, just because a person is in your family or just because a person is your friend or you've been knowing a person since fifth grade, sixth grade, you know, or high school, that doesn't mean that they're not gonna be jealous of you. That doesn't mean that they're gonna support you. That doesn't mean that they're not going to be wishing you well or, uh, you know, that doesn't, mean, that doesn't mean anything, you know, because people are in different, uh, um, uh, times and areas in their life. Everybody got their own path to travel, you know, and a lot of times people, you know, they looking at your life and they comparing your life with their life when they shouldn't be doing that because we all have our own journey in life to travel, you know? So, I just put this video up here. Maybe I can help somebody, you know, be around, uh, be aware of, you know, who you uh, surround yourself with on social media, especially Facebook. Now, if you like got a Facebook page, a business page, and you got followers, that's different. You know, that's, that's really different. Um, because, you know, you just got these followers. Now you can, um, you can block followers too, if you feel like they're not really, if you feel, you know what I'm saying? If, if, if you feel like they, you know, jealous or whatever, envious, whatever the case may be. But I'm really talking about like being on Facebook and having friend, friends and family members on there and being friends with friends and family members and stuff like that. Um, I, I just wouldn't recommend it. Um, it, 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 I don't, I don't think it's a good idea. Now I, I do feel that Facebook is a good tool for um like i said business if you're trying to promote a business and you have a business page you have a business page and stuff like that that's it's very excellent for that you know put the throw up videos and you know get some followers i mean facebook is great for that but as far as having friends and stuff mm -mm. Mm -mm. especially from people who who did known you from 20 years ago 15 years ago they want they wondering well i don't have that how she get it or you know, like they just, they, they, they don't have the confidence that you have. And then jealousy comes in different ways. Jealousy comes in many different forms. Jealousy is not just houses and cars. A person could be jealous of your confidence. A person could be jealous because you have strength to do something that they don't have strength. They, you know, or you have confidence to do something they, they don't have confidence to do, you know, so you just got to be careful. Um, and, and realize, you know, I'm gonna say this again, you know, realize that if you around people and you're not, you know, ain't nothing happening for you, you know, doors ain't opening for you and you out there trying, you out there, you know, you, you out there trying to get, trying to make things happen, check, check your surroundings, who you surrounded by, you know, and then if you let them go, then all of a sudden, bam, a blessing hits you in the face like it did with me. That'll let you know you're around the wrong people. All right, y'all. I'm going to uh, get off of here and um, I'm going to see y'all in the next video.